Hey everybody, my name is Nathaniel Dodson from tutvid.com. Welcome right into this Photoshop tutorial where today we're going to take a look at creating an advanced selection for hair, but we're going to do it very, very fast, like hopefully about five minutes. Now I'm pretty bad with time, so it might be a little longer than that, but hey, who's counting? Well, I'm counting. The YouTube timer's counting, but other than that, who's counting? Uh, if you do enjoy this tutorial and you find some value in it, well, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. That way you never miss any Photoshop tutorials in the past, present, or future. All right, let's jump into Photoshop and check this out. Okay, here we are in Photoshop. I'm going to go over and grab the quick selection tool right here and just drag a selection around the object. So you can use the shift button, press and hold down on that to add to the selection or use your alt or option button to remove from the selection and just go over and make sure you get a nice little selection of the object. And after you have the basic rough selection in place, now it's time to refine it. So go select and choose select and mask. And we're going to grab the refine edge brush. And we're going to set the brush size to something that, that reasonably well covers our edges here. Uh, basically, the way this tool works is it examines the pixels within the brush tip size as we paint to try to make the most smart adjustments that will help us get a very accurate edge, uh, even on the most complex of edges. At least in theory, that's the way it works. Sometimes it works a little better, sometimes eh, not quite so much. So after we kind of clean the edges up here with Refine Edge Brush, uh, we will boost the feather here in our global settings to about 2.5% and maybe boost the contrast to about 20%. And at this point, we can use the straight brush tool over there in our, our little uh, select a mask toolbar. And we can add or remove bits of selection as needed. Uh, again, use the alter option key to strip away bits of selection where needed, uh, or just straight up paint anywhere to add to the selection. This can be a good way to, to clean up anything that you just can't quite get right with those sort of smart tools, if you will. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose to output a layer mask down here from the output a drop down menu and check on uh, check out what we've got. Now it's one thing to look at uh, a model like this or any object you're cutting out for that matter over the transparent checkerboard. Uh, let's drag this model over to a new image so we can check out what areas of the image need to be defringed a little bit and where still needs to be cleaned up. So here we go. We we'll drag her over to this image and I'm going to grab the brush tool. I'm going to set it to the soft light blend mode and I'm going to set my foreground color to black. So you can hit the letter D to reset your foreground and background colors and you can hit the letter X to flip between black and white. So I want black to be my foreground color and I'm going to click right on the mask. So I'm, I'm painting in the mask and not on the, the photo of this, uh, this woman. And I'm going to use the brush tool to kind of dust up the edges of the model model, anywhere where I see fringing, and I can kind of push and pull, and, and select, uh, or soft light, excuse me, really helps us uh, be very, very gentle with these edges, and more or less influence what's already black to become a little bit darker, and what's already kind of white and light gray to become a little bit lighter. And we can go back and forth on the edges of this model, and really remove and clean up some of the fringing that we see. This can really be one of the most important areas to pay attention to when you're creating your own selection, this, this area where you're taking the brush tool and kind of doing some of this manual work yourself. So make sure you take the time you need to make these edges look nice. I'll also come in here, I'll throw a couple of additional adjustment layers just to help blend this whole thing together uh, a little bit more and just get a better, a better idea of how our mask is working out. And we can see here, not bad at all. Certainly not bad for a difficult selection over a difficult background and moving it to a new image and really starting to change and adjust things. So these are just some of the things that I keep an eye on when I'm ripping through more difficult selections and taking advantage of not only the Select a Mask tool, but also a soft light brush tool to quickly attack both simple and more advanced selections. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is it for this tutorial. If you feel like this tutorial brought you any value, well, check out my Photoshop course. It's all about retouching images in Photoshop. I think you might find it useful or helpful, and it really helps support this channel. So if you pick up a copy of it, thank you so much. If not, there's plenty of free tutorials on the channel that you can check out. So for using the, well, the quick selection tool and some selected mask features and some soft light brushing and other things like that we covered in this Photoshop tutorial, guys, that's it. Get it? Got it? Good. Nathaniel Dodson, tutvid.com. I'll catch you in the next one. And before you go, make sure you subscribe to my channel for more great tutorials every day. Also, buy my course. It helps us do what we do, and this channel is supported by viewers just like you. You can also just click the thumbnail and watch another video from this channel. See you next time, guys.